Yo, what's up, mams? It's your boy, Jade of Dub, back again with another video. And uh, this week, I wanted to talk about a little podcast that I've been listening to lately. Ladies and gentlemen, Lol Cow Live. If you guys don't know what a lol cow is, let me show you the definitions of it. A lol cow, a person whose eccentric or foolish behavior can be exploited to amuse onlookers. Another definition, a person you get extensive laughs from who doesn't know that they're being made fun of. Basically, a lol cow is a person who is the only reason why they're even, like, popular is because they're just laughing at him. They just make fun of them all the time. Is what most people find amusing ends up being discriminatory in pretty awful ways. Yes, that's what a lol cow is, if you guys don't know. And yeah, these guys, the three cows, Boogie2988, Wings of Redemption. And actually, if you look up here, yeah, Boogie and Wings had a little boxing match. Yeah, look, there's, <laughs> there's, there's, there's Boogie. And a little bit Wings should be, yeah, there he is, Wings. And of course, Tommy C, the third host of, uh... Anyways, All Cow Live has been a podcast that's been going on for like a couple of months now i like the podcast i think it's kind of nice um i think it's really very interesting actually wait is that is that wendigoon that's sick yeah so long cow live <laughs> i've been i guess you can say i've been watching it uh every now and then i like to put it in the background of things like whenever i'm doing like you know i'll put this on the background you know just to oh <laughs> the, uh, the fight's about to begin but <laughs> Look at him go, look at him go. Two fat people. It's a okay. I'm fat as well, so. But anyways, um, you might be asking, why the fuck are you talking about this? No one knows what this podcast is, bro. Like, who cares? Why am I talking about it? Well, it does kind of pertain to what I like to talk about. Basically, Wings of Redemption, ladies and gentlemen. The big reason why I'm making this is because a couple months ago, maybe even a year, I made a video called the, the, the Cupcake Eater tier list and Wings of Redemption was one of the, the alleged cupcake eaters that was on that list. And the reason why he's on that list in general, basically, he used to say a lot of weird shit. He did say the age of consent should be 12. You know why I said that? Because growing up in high school, I knew girls that were like 12, 13, 14, fucking on the regular throughout the topic up remember i was like we were brainstorming for topics and yeah child porn child pornography is such a loosely based thing like but like even 16 at 45 that I, i'd let that slide because a 16 year old can make her own damn decisions i'd cut child pornography off around 12. so look this is what i mean this is this is why he was on the cupcake eater tier list is because of these comments that he's made whether or not they're from 10 years ago or five you know it, it's still bad right you're a grown man saying these things why the fuck are you saying this shit that's the real thing these clips keep on getting brought back up in his life and as a result, that caused him to leave this podcast. Uh, his reasoning being that, oh, he's just getting trolled a lot. The trolls are coming back and he doesn't want that. Therefore, he must leave this podcast. In one of these podcast episodes, he was saying that like, oh, the reason why he's saying these things was because it was all just a, just a joke, an inside joke. The internet was a completely different thing back in the day. You didn't think about sh my job on PKA was to be entertaining and to be shocked. That's it. And I'm, I'm sure that the one from like fucking 15 years ago. Oh, that was probably just playing an edgy character or whatever. But it's like, you know, for him to double down on it and be like, it's very bad. And if you're going to say this kind of shit, you're obviously going to get fucking repercussions. One of the things that in this podcast he said was that because of these trolls, he lost some fucking tens of thousands of dollars through sponsorships and stuff like deals that just this doesn't want to happen then and all this is propagated by the stuff that you're wanting to let run rampant in chat because you want another 30 or 40 viewers there's even a clip him telling the story of how he went to the a dentist to get like i believe his uh cavity but it was actually a wisdom tooth that got infected and i needed it to have removed and the day it was supposed to be removed i was on the front page of reddit or like the age of consent clip an l is when you're at the dentist and he asks if you're a file or not that's what an l is ultimately this podcast was doomed to fail considering that fucking these guys are the hosts if you guys didn't know dsp dark side phil you know he's the guy best known for masturbating on a live stream one time without knowing um he was supposed to be up here but <laughs> evidently he's not he was kicked off the show because he's a lol cow he does not know how to work with other people and evidently wings of redemption doesn't these guys are just people who don't know how to fucking do shit can't even fucking work a podcast come on that's like the easiest shit you legit all you do is talk all you do is sit there 
talk to the other people, think of fucking topics, and you record. It's really pathetic. And I'll be honest, guys, ultimately, the only reason why I made this fucking YouTube video was just to shout out my own YouTube. <laughs> Sugar Shack Podcast, brother. We don't get views. I look at this shit. Our own podcast. Go check it out. Link in the description, brother. Get it. Let's get it, bro. Granted, our podcast is kind of fucking dead. I mean, look at this. Like, <laughs> and nah, I'm just kidding, bro. The really think about it. If Wings of Redemption fucking quits the podcast fully, or this is my audition. Join. The Law Cow Live podcast. Take any offers. I'm a I'm a free man. I may not be a Law Cow. Fingers crossed, you know. I may not be an actual Law Cow. I'll happily take that third host position if you know what I mean. <laughs> I don't really know what this video is anymore. I expected Boogie Two Nine Eight Eight to fucking quit this podcast first. He used to be known as the Mister Rogers. Now he's just known as the the shell of his former self. But they're they're all bad. Tommy sees the best. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like. Subscribe. Comment down below if you fucking comment down below if you even know who the f what the fuck this shit is. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.